many times detractors of the fandom menace or people who believe in what the fandom menace stands for the right to have an opinion getting your politics out of our entertainment they they often cite that there is no agenda in hollywood there's no political agenda uh within the any of these movies or productions or tv shows at all and that uh we're just seeing things and we're wrong and uh we should just debate the creativity now I've said many times when I debate people outside of TFM, I will gladly debate the creative choices uh, in Star Wars, Star Trek, or you know any anything really, anything that I'm familiar with. And that's not a problem, because people who have far-left ideologies that want to inject their, their politics they're leaning into entertainment, usually create shit products. And I think we've discovered that year after year now. Uh, it's the same thing in gaming. It's the same thing in comics. But I find it interesting that these detractors don't seem to catch the statements that tumble out of the mouths of some of these entertainment people, companies, producers. And I think if they did look at this it would be easy to see we can debate creativity all day long uh, but without taking into consideration the source of the problem you're just putting a band-aid on a broken bone jj abrams bad robot issues statement following a weekend of riots and looting enough white comfort white comfort white comfort um <laughs> This uh, white comfort is the cause for people within their own communities. Some, not all, by far. I think we've seen enough video evidence that when racist hate groups and domestic terror groups are not involved in these protests, that they are nowhere near as bad. And in some cases, very genuine. One of the things that's been driving me crazy is all of the racists and haters uh, and far leftists on the internet. And I'm sure there's a few white supremacists out there that are loving this shit show. Uh, really come down on the videos of police kneeling with protesters. Or uh, police speaking with protesters. Or, you know, they're being shown a mutual respect or uh, a love between these, these two groups. Because... You know, that, that goes against the narrative. Here we have uh, Bad Robot, and this is uh, these articles. I'm going to be covering a couple articles here today. These are from Bounding Into Comics. Go check out Bounding Into Comics. In a world full of mainstream bias media, access media, and shills, um, you, we need to grasp onto every source of, of news that we can get that's just telling it like it is. And Bounding Into Comics is one of those one of those places. Uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. This is by John F. Trent. Um, <laughs> enough white comfort. J.J. Abrams' bad, re bad reboot company issued a statement following a weekend of riots and looting across America in the wake of the death of George Floyd in Minnesota. Now, it is in the wake uh, of George Floyd's murder. George Floyd was murdered. Um, and I don't think anybody disputes that. Uh, but the subsequent rioting that has taken place, that comes from uh, uh, racist hate groups and domestic terror groups that have orchestrated these. Um, bad, re bad Reboot posted a message to Instagram. Uh, the, the first slide reads, enough is enough, enough pr police brutality, enough outsized privilege, enough polite conversation, enough polite conversation. Listen, let's go through this one by one. Enough is enough, I agree. Uh, yeah, enough is enough. Uh, enough police brutality, absolutely. Um, anyone in a position of power that abuses that power, especially when it comes to the killing of a fellow American, I am 100% against. Enough outsized privilege. Well, I agree. People with power do have privilege. Enough polite conversation. No. Sometimes uh, the conversation cannot be polite, and I understand that, especially when you have very, very emotional topics involved. But... Um, no. Enough white comfort. What exactly is this white comfort? I'd like to know what exactly this fucking white comfort is. Is this white comfort um, being hospitalized several times um, 
while you're going to school, while you're trying to get an education by racist black kids? Is that white comfort? Uh, yeah, because I, I, I enjoyed that white comfort. Um, enough lopsided access. I agree. The access media, far leftists in Hollywood, uh, anyone, anyone actually, I don't care what extreme you're on of the political aisle, uh, but it, at this point in time, it's far leftism. It's these extremists. Yes, enough lopsided access. I absolutely fucking agree. Enough exhausting our friends and colleagues. I agree. I agree. Maybe it's time for people like Bad Reboot and other entertainers who don't know shit about the real world, who do not live in the real world, who do not live paycheck to paycheck, who do not have mortgages and car payments, who do not see their communities burning down around them. Yeah, I'm exhausted of hearing their shit. Enough being incurious. Incurious? So now you are dictating to me where my curiosity should lie. The, <laughs> the elitist nature of this is incredulous. Um, enough being unintentional. It, 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 what? What? Enough injustice, agreed. Enough death, agreed. Enough. Yeah, I agree. Enough of hearing your fucking mouth. Enough of hearing your shit, Hollywood. Because you, you have added to this. With the way that you have pushed your movies. The uh, entitlement of the know-it-alls in Hollywood. Spouting off rhetoric about people they do not understand. They do not associate. About communities they do not uh, they are not a part of, and they do not get involved with. I have had enough of your privileged Hollywood ass. Uh, see, Marvel comic artist uh, Ma Ma Mahmoud Azrir, I, I butchered that name, I apologize, and Frank Cho appear to endorse Antifa after President Trump declares Antifa will be classified as a terrorist organization. Well, Antifa is a domestic terrorist organization. They absolutely are. They have been for years. They have orchestrated several riots. They have been responsible for taking communities that are having real heartbreak, that are going through real trauma, and utilizing that to create chaos and disorder, to burn down businesses, to murder people. Hamid Asrir appeared to endorse Antifa a day after President Donald Trump declared the United States would be classifying uh, the group is a terrorist organization. This is uh, this is one of the far left problems. This is actually this is not even just a far left problem. This is a political problem. People people not uh, thinking outside of their political bubble. This is on the right and the left. Uh, first off, two sides. This two this two party system doesn't fucking work. It doesn't fucking work. I'm so sick of this two party system. And uh, people will rather cling to their political leanings. Then think about logic, reason, facts. That shit I'm sick of. Um, I am very frustrated with my country's two-party system. Have been for a long time. The United States of America will be designated Antifa as a terrorist organization. Thank you, President Trump. Now, those of you that don't know, I am not a Trump supporter. Uh, but I support the office of the President of the United States the same way that I did when George W. was in office. The same way I did when Barack Obama was in office. I most certainly did not agree with some of the things, some of the policies that came out of those those presidencies. But um, I support the office as long as the office supports we, the people. That's very important. This is one of the things that I think a lot of uh, the political ideologues out there don't really get. The Constitution states we, the people. We are in charge. These are public servants. We hold them accountable. So that's why I don't really give, I don't really give too much shit to to friends uh, and family who come down on Trump or you know have issues with President Trump. It's their right to have that. I, I everyone has the right to their own opinion. I think that there is definitely a line between someone who doesn't. Uh, co-signed to President Trump's um, ideology and those who have Trump and those who have Trump derangement syndrome you can pretty much tell 
who has derangement syndrome. And uh, President Trump's tweet came after multiple riots led to the violence and looting across multiple cities in the United States, including Minneapolis, Nashville, Atlanta, Washington, D.C., Los Angeles, and others. Yes, including Wilmington and Dover, Delaware, uh, which is uh, the home state of Joe Biden. And uh, Joe is nowhere to be fucking found. Now, what exactly did he say? Let's. Oh, here it is. Comic artists against fascism. Antifa says they are. Uh, oh, fuck Trump! What? What a well, how stunning and brave. How stunning and brave. Uh, <laughs> look, I've said fuck Bush. I've said fuck Obama. I'm, I'm not going to give anybody shit for saying fuck Trump. That's your right, and, and I support your right to say that. Uh, but comic artists against fascism. All right, so this person seems to have their ideology so far up their own ass they don't understand um, that the anti-fascist group Antifa is about as fascist as you can possibly get. They are not anti-fascist. They are fascist. Remember, kids, remember, SJWs point the finger at other people and call them exactly what they themselves are. The I know you are, but what am I style of fighting and debate. Uh, it, it, it's not based in logic. It's not based in reason. It's not based in anything. But Frank Cho, Frank Cho is the type of person you would not, uh, you would, I would not support. I would suggest you not support him. Uh, we're going to go through a list of different th companies and people here, including J.J. Abrams and Bad Reboot, um, that will no longer get my support. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to come down on them about 10 times as hard as I have. Uh, at every turn. Uh, I'm not having this shit anymore. Um, yeah, so there's the Antifa flag. Uh, that The terrorist organization. And um, this is what uh, mainstream comics is about now. So, uh, uh, fuck mainstream comics. I don't want nothing to do with them. Guild Wars 2 lead game designer and senior narrative designer Jennifer... So Look at this winner. Calls for a revolution. Man, I'll tell you what. Can you revolt that style? Can you revolt that? <laughs> Are you a 10-year-old boy? I, I don't get the short hair thing. I know some of y'all ladies out there, some of y'all men might like short hair on girls. Some of y'all ladies might like short hair. And, and you know, to each his own. To each, But to me, that's ugly as fuck. Arena Net and Guild Wars 2 lead game designer Jennifer Schroll took to Twitter to call for a revolution involving brawlers and protectors who have experienced and are able to be frontliners in the United States. In a lengthy thread on Twitter, Shul, I'm butchering her name probably, uh, criticized police practices, called for police reform, and eventually endorsed a violent revolution following riots and looting across multiple cities in the United States in the wake of the death of George Floyd. Explain to me how this helps George Floyd, uh, well, his family or his legacy. How does that bring, bring justice uh, to his murder? I'd like to know, Chiclet Teeth. Would you let me know? I I don't understand it. Um, yeah, I, I do believe that we should have police reform. And I think that we should uh, criticize police tactics. Look, guys, if you ain't figured it out from any live stream you've listened to, I don't trust police. I do not trust the police. All right? I think calling 911 makes a situation worse. And yet here we are in a situation uh, where police are needed. So my own dogma shows itself. We need a level of, uh, of law enforcing civil servants. We, we need that. We need it. But those civil servants need to be accountable to we the people. Uh, I know we're seeing a bunch of feel-good stories about cops kneeling with us and marching with us. And it's okay to take them to feel hope and solidarity. I shared one in Bellevue too yesterday, but individual cops aren't the point the institution is Black Lives Matter. Well, oh, all right, listen. Your fandom menace historian believes that everyone has the right to their opinion, position, and so forth and so on. I, I honestly do, all right? And I know that I have a few friends out there that use the hashtag Black Lives Matter. I do my best to respect your position, um, but... Uh, I would no more support Black Lives Matter than I would the Ku Klux Klan. And to me, they're, they're the same bag. The same bag. So the moment I see that hashtag, I understand that this person supports a hate group. That is my perspective. You know, it, it talk, the, the, the talking down of the, uh, the uh, again, of the videos between 
police and citizens, we the people, um, commiserating, hugging, uh, sharing how distraught they are about the situation. These are these are good things. These are healing events. These are necessary events. We should all be on the same team, shouldn't we? Shouldn't the citizens and the police be on the same team? But apparently to Jennifer, yep, she just wants to see more racist-inspired violence. I don't get it with all these self-hating white people. I, I'm dead serious. Look, listen. Listen, y'all. Look. I've dealt with a lot of racism in my life. Uh, I've also seen a lot of racism in my life. Uh, there is a lot. There are strides that still need to be made. Genuine strides, not bullshit Hollywood manufactured strides that need to take place in this country. Uh, in as far as racism, and, and we're never going to eliminate it one hundred percent. There's always going to be a level of of racism in this in in the world. There always will be that one or that group of people that thinks they are better than someone else or more evolved or whatever. Like we're all, it's human nature to be jealous or to be fearful of things they don't understand. Uh, but uh, as a uh, white dude, uh, if you're white and you hate yourself, uh, just get just do it. Um, do what needs to be done because we don't need you. Please don't breed. Individual cops or precincts pledge to start uh, conversations is nice, but ultimately not effective. How is conversation not effective? How is the, you ugly troll? Uh, the changes and reform needed to end corruption, need and a corrupt racist system can't be fixed by a couple of town hall meetings. We need more than that. Yeah, we need people like you, racist hate mongers like you, um, to shut up, to go away. You, you are the problem. You are an addition to the problem. And uh, Hollywood and uh, the industry, uh, industry uh, comics, uh, industry gaming, uh, you are the problem. You are the problem. We need fundamental demilitarization of the police force. You know what? Normally, under normal circumstances, you would get no argument from me out of that. No argument whatsoever. But as of right now, uh, they need to get it done. Uh, no more chemical weapons and rubber bullets and riot gear. Really? So you would rather real bullets, hand grenades, um, you would rather these things. You are such a twat. Uh, reform is what the police are supposed to do. Conflict resolution, for example, shouldn't be part of the role of law enforcement. That's social work. I mean, conflict resolution? Uh, well, if someone's breaking the law, that's the job of the police officer to come in and stop the law from being broken or to arrest those that have broken the law, depending on your local laws. We can debate on laws all day. Uh, police don't really do much. Um, uh, police pretty much have a written code when it comes to domestic situations. Uh, if you're, for instance, they get called you know, to a domestic... Uh, the man gets arrested. Doesn't matter what happened. The guy gets arrested. Yeah, we could talk about uh, misandry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we could talk about that all day long, honey. Uh, I'm sure you're uh, you're up and up on that subject. There are a long list of other things, uh, but even just abolishing individual practices such as stop and frisk is not enough. We need to understand that systematic injustice can't be solved with a few with the turning of a few knobs. It requires always a power shift. You are looking to upset the system and benefit from it, um, probably because you're a self-hating evil twat. Uh, subsequently, and this is why it's so complicated, if we demilitarize the police force, all of America needs to be two, no access to mass destruction weapons to regular Americans, no rifles, no machine guns, no cowboys there. I said it, wow. Yeah, you, uh, you're, you're out of your fucking mind, honey. Seth Rogen, Patton Oswald, and other celebrities pledge to pay bail for those arrested as multiple U.S. cities are looted and burned. Hollywood has no agenda, folks. Remember that the next time someone's debating you about the fandom menace, about, uh, you know, them trying to get politics out of our entertainment, I want you to remember this. This article. These entertainers, these companies... These people in positions of the industry that support looting, rioting, murder, they support hate groups, they support terrorist organizations. But there's no agenda, there's no bias. There's no bias in entertainment. There's there's no there's no agenda as 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 companies like Disney hire inclusion directors. <laughs> Dude, uh, it, it's uh, it's it's a, it's a shit show. 
it's a shit show. You understand that for years now, we have been putting up with uh, far left extremism, using entertainment properties as a platform to espouse division and hate, and here we are. We've seen it. We've seen Black Lives Matter uh, inspire looting and burning. We've seen Antifa inspire looting and burning. We've seen it year after year. When are we going to wake up to the fact that it is people like Patton Oswalt, fucking Seth Rogen, man. It's fuck you, Seth Rogen. I'm never supporting these people again. I'm never supporting them again. Multiple celebrities pledged to donate to the Minnesota Freedom Fund in order to pay bail for individuals arrested as multiple U.S. cities, including Minneapolis, St. Paul, Nashville, Atlanta, New York City, Los Angeles, and others, are experiencing riots and burning. The Minnesota Freedom Fund advocates for the ending of cash bail systems, but also pays bail to individuals who claim they cannot afford it. You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, right? People have the right to assemble. And we have the right to protest. And in the case of... Uh, the murder of George Floyd. I wish I could be out there right now with him. But that's not what this is about right now. That's 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 may have been what it started out as. It's not what it's about now. When you have racist hate groups and domestic terror groups coordinating infiltration in several cities to these protests to create riots and looting. If you're still out there when the looting and the rioting starts... If you're still out there and you get arrested, that's on you. That's on you. I don't know what else to say. You know, and this is the, one of the, this is one of the biggest problems that we're facing right now. In the last few days, even I have had these impulses uh, to retreat into a position of fear, or would that if I succumb to would cause me to embrace a form of racism, and this is what. This is our job right now, guys. This is our job out there. You, you boomers who are listening, you Gen Xers who are listening, and you uh, you older millennials out there right now. This, this is something that we have to lead and overcome. Because if we allow ourselves to succumb to fear, then, uh, you know, Antifa wins. Black Lives Matter wins, right? These, these organizations will win. This is what they are, they want to do. They want to create division and hate. These far leftists in entertainment want to create division and hate. They are all racist, sexist, terrible people. These are the, the, the worst of the worst. Awful, awful people. If they were in the Middle East, they'd be throwing gays off buildings and, and decapitating people, right? If, if they were in, in any other part of the world where atrocities are going on, if they were in China, they'd be throwing Muslims in, uh, in concentration camps. Like these are the worst types of people. Taylor Swift vilifies uh, Donald Trump. You know, Taylor Swift doesn't know a fucking thing about a damn thing. Uh, I'm tired. Of, I'm just sick of celebrities. Trolls World Tour actor Justin Timberlake. I am no longer supporting trolls. Uh, you know, just, please, Justin Timberlake, please join me in supporting the Minneapolis protesters by donating to the Freedom Fund. Let me fix that for you, Timberlake, you elitist prick. You know, it's a shame because there's been a couple movies of yours that I've enjoyed. Never again. Never again. You're not supporting Minneapolis protesters. You're supporting rioters and looters. That's who you're supporting. You just want to get these people back on the street so that they can continue to commit crimes. It's insane. Um, Timberlake would not be alone. Seth Rogen. I mean, people that I like. People that I like are on this list. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Seth Rogen, Steve Carell, Don Cheadle, Olivia Wilde, Pat Oswald, Nick Kroll, Jaylene Mona, whatever the hell her name is. Um, none of you, none of you from this point forward will ever get support from me. None. None. And I will come down twice as hard. And I will remind you at every instance that you support domestic terrorism and that you support racist hate groups. That's where I'm at. So... Understand that the Phantom Menace has been talking about this for years, two years now. Far leftists use entertainment. Uh, the entertainers, entertainers who don't know shit. Entertainers that don't know anything about the real world. They know their servants. They know that everyone kisses their ass. They know they're elitist and wealthy. And they think that they are better than everyone else. And they understand the strifes and, and struggles of everyday people. They don't know a 
damn thing. And this is what we have to fight, right? Everyone has their own preferred battleground in the culture war. Mine is entertainment because of what's been done to Star Trek, Star Wars. Really, that's where I'm coming from. The use of these entertainment mediums as platforms to espouse far-left propaganda, division, hate, segregation, racism, sexism, by these types. I will never again support any one of these people. These people, these elitists, support division and hate, racism. They are willing to bail out domestic terrorists. This would be the same thing as coming together a hundred years ago for celebrities coming together and uh, bailing out the Ku Klux Klan. Same thing. Same shit. Uh, I will come down at every opportunity on every one of these elitists. I will never let go of this bone because it is people like you, Patton Oswald. It is people like you who are creating hate in this country. It is people like you in the entertainment industry who don't know shit about average people that support violence, the looting and destruction of entire neighborhoods. It is your rhetoric that enforces this type of hate. And I will forever come down on anyone in Hollywood and anybody in entertainment, any production company, any gaming, any comics, any actor, any singer, any of you who continue to support racist hate groups and domestic terrorist groups. And I'm doing this for the future of our children. In the coming weeks, I hope that we see justice for George Floyd. I hope that any protesters that were out there uh, that were not involved in looting or violence are okay. I hope that we can come together as a nation after the murder of one of our own. Doesn't matter what race he is. Doesn't matter if it was a him or her. Doesn't matter where it is. I hope that we can all come together and agree that an egregious abuse of power took place that murdered a fellow citizen of these United States. And then after we have been able to grieve We've had time to, after all this nonsense, then it's time to choose your own social battleground, whether that's your neighborhood politics, getting to know your neighbors, whether that's supporting your local businesses, helping to clean up after these disasters, uh, getting involved in uh, politics in general to get rid of these uh, racist ideologues, these far leftists. I'm not even saying vote right. I'm not even saying vote conservative or Republican. I'm not saying that at all. If you're a Democrat and you see what these other, what these extremists in your party are doing, it's time to stand up and get rid of them. It's time to kick them out. As for myself, your fandom menace historian who's writing books about the fandom menace, my battleground is entertainment. And I will continue to call out these rich, wealthy, elitist, hateful ideologues all day, every day. Justice for George Floyd, my love to his family, my love to the communities affected by these hate groups and terrorists. I wish you all my best. Godspeed.